Are you planning on taking that first step towards making your own smart home? Well, this cheaper and smaller version of the Google Home is in actuality one of the best starting items you should consider if you want to upgrade your household into the future, at least to a small degree. I'm Omega Dan, and this is my review. Weighing at just 170 grams, the Home Mini is smaller than a donut and has a smooth touch sensitive fabric top with hidden indicator lights and you can tap on the sides to adjust the volume. While there used to be an option of tapping the middle to pause and play and bring up Google Assistant, this functionality has been disabled permanently by Google due to a persistent bug in the system. There is a microphone switch on the back and a micro USB port for power input. Now, I do wish the Mini had a built-in rechargeable battery so that it can be moved around just about anywhere, but unfortunately, it needs to be connected to a power source. With a 40 mm driver, the 360 degree sound actually isn't that bad. Uh, the Google Assistant voice coming from the Mini speaker is actually audible and crystal clear. And as for music, it can get surprisingly loud with a slightly below average bass, but that's based on my own opinion. And in all honesty, compared to other budget items such as the Soundcore 2 and the Flare from Anchor, the audio just can't really compete. Just like with the Google Assistant on your phone, you can ask the Mini almost any question and get an answer. Okay Google, what is the tallest building in the world? Tallest buildings in world include Burj Khalifa at 828 meters, Wuhan Greenland Center at 636 meters, and Shanghai Tower at 632 meters. Okay, Google. What is 512 divided by 45? The answer is approximately 11.378. You can also set alarms, play some soothing background music or noise when you're falling asleep, get some recipes when you're making a mean meal in the kitchen, and also ask for directions. With the Google Home app, you can control other smart devices such as lights and other Google devices such as the Chromecast, in which you can command the assistant on the mini to play YouTube and Netflix shows on your television. Sadly, if you are living outside of the US, Canada, or the UK, like me, you won't be able to make phone calls using the mini nor send texts. You can also play music from popular streaming services such as Spotify and Google Play through the speaker. However, I like using Deezer, and while I can access Deezer on my phone in Jamaica with no problems at all, the Mini will not play music through the service due to it supposedly not being available in my country. Hey Google, play some music on Deezer. Sorry, Deezer isn't available in your country. Once you're able to set up the Mini to recognize your voice, it'll be able to read you calendar events as well as your own personal info. You can also set up routines by just one command. For example, by telling it goodnight, the Mini will ask you if you want to know about tomorrow's schedule or if you want to set an alarm. While I do wish there was the functionality of making and receiving phone calls and sending texts and emails through the Mini, I can't deny how valuable it is regarding many other areas, from telling me my schedule for the day to even telling me a decent joke. Okay, Google, tell me a joke. The past, the present, and the future walk into a bar. It was tense. Even though some functionality is not available to those who are living outside of the States, Canada, and the UK, like making phone calls and sending texts, for $50 on the Google Store, I have to admit this is a decent entry-level item for the smart home experience, and I give it my thumbs up. Thanks for watching my review. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and also hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified of newly released content on my channel. Thanks for watching, take good care of yourselves, and remember to live life and stay connected. Till next time.